Fred, how many meals do I have to eat each day? And what about snacking? Well, I, that's a very confusing uh, issue in our society today. Many, many people, since the advent of uh, these high-protein diets, many, many people are eating six meals a day and eating animal protein three or four times a day. And in the beginning, they feel well. But what's really happening there is a lot different than they really think. They think they're keeping their blood sugar up, but what they're really doing is counterindicated for a person to live a long and healthy life. What they're really doing is uh, preventing the body from going through a detox. And the body has to detox on a daily basis, otherwise we're not going to live a very long time. So if you're eating six meals a day, you're never giving your, uh, your stomach a chance to empty out. You're never giving your, uh, your body to go through this process to keep you clean on a cellular level. All disease commences on a cellular level and starts with inflammation. Now that's, a lot of people might uh, differ with me, but that's the way I treat people and I've been very, very successful in treating people that way. And the bottom line is results. You can name any disease, arthritis, uh, whatever disease you want to uh, name. If you go back far enough, Otto Warburg said that in 1930, 1934, when he won the uh, Nobel Peace Prize for Science. He said that cancer was caused by fermentative, non-oxidative respiration, which is fancy uh, terms for inflammation. Verkal, a brilliant uh, scientist in Vienna 200 years ago, said that all disease commences with inflammation. I have found that to be very, very true. Eating six meals a day, eventually, uh, on an immediate level, it might think you're feeling stronger and you're not going to have any, uh, any kind of symptoms, but in the long run, it's going it's to be definitely be a factor in the genetic degenerative disease.